Hey guys, my name is Dice Rowan, and today we are celebrating the 7th anniversary of this channel coming into being. I don't know how we got here, but we're here and you're stuck with me. Good luck. If you don't know, my internet situation is kind of... So, I went to my social medias and asked uh, what some of my friends would want to see me do in a way of celebrating the channel anniversary. But I decided to go with a bit of an uh, AMA or q and A. Q &A. Something with an A. So that's what we're doing here. You know the drill. I went to social media again and asked if there were any questions that everybody had for me. And these are some of those. Anthropomantic Fiend asks, are there any films outside the horror genre that you find particularly creepy? Perhaps The NeverEnding Story? You know, a children's film with, with a horse? It sinks into quicksand and causes you childhood trauma. Personally, I, I always felt that the uh, giant wolf was fucking creepy. The brave little toaster. What the fuck? And I think just as a rule of thumb, just about any mockumentary, documentary, or cinematic telling of a serial killer tends to be pretty creepy, just by principle. Also, as someone who grew up with this franchise, pretty much everything from the third film on in the Harry Potter series is a little creepy. From Bloodbath and Beyond, is there a movie that you didn't like that you've ended up coming around on? Here's the thing about me with movies, especially horror, is that there are times, more often than not, I will watch a movie and it, it could be, yeah, that, that was that was pretty good, or, yeah, oh, that was alright, that was kind of interesting. But it takes a while for me to think on it, to absorb it, and go, you know what, I actually really liked that. So that's often the case, to be quite honest. A lot of the movies that I now consider to be my favorites, I initially was like, eh, okay. However, one specific one that comes to mind is Suspiria, the 70s original Suspiria. Very new to Giallo at that time, so... I had to get used to it. So kind of in that, that same category, Deep Red or Profondo Rosso, for those of you in Italia, one that may shock you is Rocky Horror Picture Show. This was a movie that my parents showed my brother and I when I was about 14. So I initially did not like that film. Like I would make fun of it a lot. <laughs> but after a while it grew on me, so. From Creepy Cody 31 what is your favorite horror film of all time? I'm sure this will not be a shock to anybody who has watched me for a while. Uh, Phantom of the Paradise, 1974, from Brian De Palma. A close second would be The Frighteners, 1996, Peter Jackson. Very few people have heard about Phantom of the Paradise, but once you actually go looking for it, you'll find that it has a pretty large, extensive, and highly dedicated fan base that uh, I now consider myself to be a part of. I do think that Phantom of the Paradise and The Frighteners are both highly underrated and don't get enough attention. From Frank Gilbert, what is your favorite Howard Hughes directed movie? That's an interesting question. The problem is, I don't think that at this point I have really seeing any of Mr. Hughes' films all the way through. For a moment, I got confused by the question, thinking that you were talking about John Hughes. This is incorrect. So, to answer the question, I don't have one yet. <laughs> I'll get back to you on that one. I'm sorry. I just, I've got a lot of things to watch, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's a long list. From Mr. Captain Save a Ho. When did your channel start and what gave you the idea to start reviewing movies? And I'm not quite sure what that last word is. Private? Private? Forgive me. My channel technically started on March 18th, 2014. And it was like really late at night, I think, when I created it. I didn't post my first video that same night. But it was shortly after. As far as the concept of reviewing movies, uh, oddly enough, that came quite a while after I started my channel. You may or may not know this, <laughs> but when I was making content for the very first time on my channel, I was doing a whole mishmash of 
nonsensical bullshit. Just random shit like tag videos, challenges, nothing extreme, but you know. The very first video that I made that I put up on the channel was actually a book challenge. I believe it was called the Book Tower Challenge. And essentially you would go through your collection of books and look for something that would fall under the category of each individual thing that was on the list. Uh, I think one was like, find a book with a moon on the cover or some shit like that. Perhaps sometime I will do what Gory B Movie suggested and do a reaction to that video and maybe a few others and implode into the void. But anyway, about two years <laughs> into my channel is when I went to a forum that was specifically for YouTubers creating videos and stuff like that, it did help me a good bit, but I made a, a thread, a question, asking people to please take a look at my content, my channel, and tell me how I could improve, because I'm, I'm always trying to do that. And someone, I should really find out who they were, because <clears throat> I have a lot to uh, thank them for. They said, essentially, you know, it looks like you like to do a lot of Halloween and, and spooky stuff. Why don't you focus on that? And off we went. <laughs> Reviewing movies came shortly after that. Uh, kind of started with my book versus movie review of The Black Cauldron from Disney. And went from there. Nightwatch Zone, congratulations. Thank you. My question is, what are your top three vampire movies ranked and why? I'm gonna actually start doing ranking videos because I know that a lot of people like those and as someone who for whatever reason enjoys making lists, uh, I'll, I'll probably get into that soon. So I have found that I actually rather like some vampire movies, so this could be a little difficult, but you can bet your ass Twilight is nowhere on here. It's actually quite difficult to narrow this down, so God damn it. Anyway, let's go with this. <sighs> Fright Night Part 2. Fright Night, the original 80s version, and The Lost Boys. From least favorite to favorite. So Lost Boys is my favorite so far. But on that similar subject, I would like to point out one more movie about vampires that gets overlooked a lot that I think you should watch, which would be Suck from 2009. You'll know it when you come across it because Alice Cooper's in there, so. From Paranoid Ghost 85, what is your favorite theme music from a horror film or show? I actually have at least one playlist with a bunch of horror movie soundtracks and whatnot on it. I like Cry Little Sister from The Lost Boys. I like John Carpenter's theme from The Fog. That's it's just and I don't know if this would be considered a theme song or simply the main song for the movie, but I enjoy the Ramones' Pet Cemetery. I actually used to listen to that song on like a Halloween CD that I got from the library and did not know anything about the movie. So, from the horror miser Monty G. What are your thoughts about Rob Zombie doing a Munsters movie? Aha! Topical. Some topical news. Oh no. I have to say that my initial reaction on that was, oh boy, you know, kind of like what uh, a lot of people so far, I think, have been thinking. Just a lot of apprehension, a lot of apprehension, uh, uncertainty, if you will, even protectiveness. But I have to see I'm, I'm now that I think about it more, I'm kind of intrigued. I'm kind of interested to see what he's going to do. It's not going to be the same vibe as the original TV show or even the subsequent movies. I know that because <laughs> almost all of the original actors are no longer with us. So that's a big one. At the same time, <clears throat> um, he I know very little about Rob Zombie. Sorry. But I do know that he is a big Munsters fan, so maybe that will ease some concerns for me. I'm, as someone who thinks every once in a while about, well, what if I had the chance to do something with one of my favorite series or one of my favorite horror movies that I'm a big fan of? 
there would be a lot of respect that went into that, so maybe that's what we're gonna see. Let's just remember that, uh, hopefully it can't get any worse than when they tried to reboot it with Mockingbird Lane. Eddie Izzard was the only good thing about that, bless her, but... From the Trashed Picture Show, Marty. Which horror director or creator would you say you identify the most with, be they living or dead? Ooh, that's a dangerous question. <laughs> it's not Roman Polanski, so relax. It's an edgy joke? Oh no. Let's see. Um, it's hard for me to try to pinpoint just one person that I identify with, no matter who it is. So it might be kind of like a mishmash of different directors and creators, I suppose. I suppose going back to what caused me to create my channel, uh, I kind of identify with Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, as far as creators go. And for a time, even uh, Doug Walker, the Nostalgia Critic, which I know now is kind of... <laughs> but we learn, as far as horror directors go. Mm. Let me see, probably Peter Jackson. God damn you, Marty, with your intellectual and deep philosophical questions. Maybe even a little George A. Romero. Just a little bit. And I would even throw in uh, Steven Spielberg, because I find that the tone of a lot of his movies when it comes to horror and even some stuff outside of horror is like very, very similar to how I write and some of the humor that I have. So take those three guys, kinda kinda mash them together a little bit, and you'll get closer to this, you know? With a, a little a little hint, a little sprinkling of some of the other creators that I mentioned. But of course, you know who can really match this? Who would want to? Alright, so those are the questions that I was tossed. And uh, I hope that I provide some form of semi-smart answers. And in the spirit of things, if you guys who are watching this right now have any more questions, even if you've already asked questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below and I will make sure to answer them as such. As usual, I do want to take the time to thank all of you guys, whether you're subscribed or not. If you keep returning and watching my content, I really do appreciate that. It means a lot and I probably wouldn't have continued with my channel for so long without the amazing and utterly fantastic support that I have received over the years. Of course, a special thank you to those who subscribed to me from the very beginning and those who uh, have just joined this roller coaster of a weird ass journey. Kind of similar to that boat scene in Willy Wonka, I think. So thank you to my fellow horror creators and friends who have helped me along the way and continue to help me, as a matter of fact. I do try to reciprocate, so. Seven years, everybody. Seven years. We're still here. Sometimes we don't know why, but we're still here. So again, thank you guys. And more content to come. More requests and suggestions to be covered. I've already got a few, so we're, we're working on it. See you later.